Honestly, I'm afraid. Oh my god. This is fucking G-string. What's up, mate? My name is Mark, and today we are going to see if the cheapest Floyd Rose will stay in tune if we put some good strings. We have Slinky Cobalt and some good springs. We have Goto Springs. I did all the setup. I put the Goto Strings with oh, springs. Uh, I locked the locking nut. I did the sitting on this I don't I don't remember how it's called but I did everything to set it up so now it's perfectly in tune yeah maybe not perfectly I guess it's really close to perfect tuning. So it stays in tune like while playing average legs and charts. It's and it's it's really good. It's already very impressive because uh, there's a Chinese guitar from AliExpress which costed something around 300 euros. Yeah, let's use the Floyd. If we use it slightly, a little bit, it stays perfectly in tune. And I'm honestly, I'm afraid to use it as a dime bag did with this crazy dives and shit. You know, I'm afraid to do this. I'm afraid it's going to be out of tune uh, straight away after that. So, but anyway, we gotta do this, yeah. Oh my god, it's already kind of impressive, you know, this, I'm gonna do a full review on this guitar, anyway, sooner or later, but now it's, yeah. That's, that's really impressive. The, the moment of truth. One, two, three, here we go. No, 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 it's what it was my leg. Slightly out of tune, really, really slightly, really a little bit. Oh shit, no, 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 no. Yeah, now it's fucked up. string do we have on the G string it's on the G string it seems we have always problems with G string right everybody knows every, every single guitar knows that but let's see what we got to do with that It's sharpened. A lot. Now we have... Now we got it back in tune. 
not perfect, but it's... But it's quite in tune, yeah? I think you will agree with me. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm vibrating. Uh, I'm vibrating nothing. Yeah. Interesting. It's really, it's really interesting. You're witnessing this with me right now, so it's... Let's be man. So again, we have a G string. I've put it back in place. Yes, yeah, slightly out of tune again, but let's let's continue. Man, you hear it, man. You freaking hear that. Shit. You guys heard everything. For me, it's shocking and quite unbelievable. Really. Still, I don't quite believe that this freaking piece of metal, which is made out of zinc alloy, I think so. It stays in tune, yeah? Let's say it stays in tune. And you can do all this shit that Dimebag did. So again, we have we have problems with G string, um, yeah. So this this fucking G string. So yeah, and even though it's 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 the cheapest shit, and it's 
it's still fucking impressive. I don't, I don't know even how for how long I've been recording it already, but I'm really impressive, and I hope this shit is interesting for you too. This fucking G string. <laughs> Great job, buddy. In tune. In tune. So this. Slightly out of tune. So again, we have problem with G string. Today, you and me got to know that the cheapest replica from China with cheapest even not some licensed tremolo system as uh, as Floyd Rose could stay in tune that is a great that's great knowledge right here honestly for me per personally it's it's unbelievable it's fantastic it's wonderful it's amazing 